You're all set. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Andy Graves here, and um, I'm going to be showing you about, uh, in celebration of Crochet Month, I'm going to be showing you um, how to do pineapples in lace. Um, the one thing about lace is that it builds on the row before. So you can see the pineapple lace border here. Okay, we're, I think we're there now. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah I'm just have to move it. Please don't stand there. <laughs> okay, so today in celebration of crochet month, we are um, going over lace, and I wanted to show you in particular the pineapple lace. Now, I used a pineapple lace border on my Strawberry Fields shawl that some of you have seen pictures of on the Longmont Yarn Shop website. And this little pineapple that is on the shawl's border is what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. The pineapple border builds in an eight row repeat. So each row is a little bit different as it builds up. I love pineapples. In fact, I laugh because this photograph is a picture of me in Christmas of 2001, and the sweater I'm wearing is one I actually bought in a store, but it has crocheted pineapples in it. And I just loved this sweater so much, and I wanted to learn how to crochet pineapples. But it took me a few years to figure them out. Today, I'm gonna to do this fun little swatch that just shows you the basic pineapple repeat. So let me get this guy out of our way. And I'm gonna keep him here so you can see how we go along. So I've already created the base that my pineapple is gonna be worked off of. The, I did a foundation single crochet just to get it started. And I did my chain two spaces that are a continuation of the uh, body of the shawl. So now we're getting ready to do our first row of the pineapples. And we're gonna chain three. And this is just starting, I'm gonna have a shell column on each side of the pineapple. So I do two double crochets, chain two, and do two double crochets. Then we're going to chain three and we're going to skip our first chain two space and go to the next chain two space and do a single crochet and then we're going to chain five two three four five and we're going to skip a chain two space go to the next chain two space and do a single crochet chain three and we're going to create our shell. Let me a little more yarn here. So two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. And we've got the base for our pineapple. This center is where the pineapple's going to grow. So we're going to chain three. And because this is a shorter pineapple, I like to think of them as baby pineapples, but you also see them referred to in lace patterns as strawberries because they are a little shorter than your typical really huge pineapples. There's some pineapple patterns that were taken from doilies and things from the uh, early 1900s that do a lot more. So now to start our next row of our pineapple, we're gonna chain one. We're gonna skip over this chain three space here and we're going to do clusters. Now, this is a pretty easy cluster because it's a, a two double crochet cluster. So we're yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, go through, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, pull through, and then pull through the last three loops, and that makes the cluster. Chain one, make another cluster. And in the pattern, it generally will say something along the lines of, um, oops, excuse me, I'm on the wrong page of my pattern here. 
it will say cluster chain one in parentheses five times. And that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna have five clusters in this chain five space when I get to the end here. And then the last chain one, because it's saying cluster chain one five times, is actually going to be our bridge back over to the shell stitch. So I'm gonna do my last cluster. Chain one, and then skip all the way over this chain three and the first two stitches of the, the shell and do a shell in the chain two space of this shell. Now I really understood pineapples when I finally saw a chart of them. I uh, found it really hard to understand the pattern, but one thing I've learned since then is if you just follow along closely with the instructions and the pattern, you'll find yourself where you need to be. Oops, start to do a bigger shell. Chain two, two double crochets. All right, so now we're beginning row six. I've done my first shell. Excuse me, row five. See, even I get lost. One, two, three, row four. There we go. All right. We're going to chain three. We're going to skip three stitches. So one, two, three, counting this chain is a... And we're going to do a single crochet in the top of our first cluster. Then we're going to chain four. And the chain fours here are what create the pineapple part that is the classic kind of netted look of pineapples. So we've got one, two, three, four, and we're going to skip this chain and go into the next cluster. We're going to continue this until we get to the end of our clusters. And when you're first working on pineapples, they will really spread out. You'll think that you've got too many stitches for what you want. Now we've gotten to the end. Let's see if I can lay this out so we can see it a little better. We've got one, two, three, four loops above our clusters. So we're going to now chain three. We're gonna skip over that chain stitch and two double crochets, I'm gonna do a shell in the chain two space of the shell. Generally with pineapple patterns, there'll be some kind of border on either side of the pineapple motif as it's created on the lace so that it stabilizes the pineapple. And we're gonna chain three and turn and make another shell. row five. Okay, so we're ready to make our next row of the pineapple. You can see how this is beginning. We've gotten this part and now we're going to make the three little bumps of the pineapple. So we are going to chain three. We're going to skip all the way to our first chain four loop on top of the pineapple and we're going to do a single crochet. Now it's just a matter of chaining four, working into the chain four loop. Chaining four, Oops, yes, that's four. 
your single crochet in the next chain four loop. Chain four, single crochet in the next chain four loop. Now we've got a bridge back to our shells and we're gonna chain three to do that. And we're gonna do a shell stitch. Now this is always the part when I'm doing these that I think, wow, this is way too many stitches. It's too fanned out. But it will actually tighten up as we do the next couple of rows. And you can see this really wants to spread if we really open that up. But it is actually going to be pulled up a little bit as these columns of shells develop and as our further stitches come in. So we're going to turn, do another shell. Whoops, and I just got carried away with my chains there. Okay, so we've got our shells and we're going to chain four for this next row before we start the pineapple. So four chains, skip all the way over to the first chain four, single crochet in the chain four. Chain four, single crochet in the next chain four. And we're going to repeat that and single crochet in the last chain four space. Then we're going to chain four and we're going to work a shell stitch in our column of shell stitches. And you can see as this is going along how We've got almost all of our pineapple in place now. You can see we've got four loops here, three on the next row, two on this row. And of course, this last row, we're gonna have one. So our chain bridge going from the shell column becomes longer. So we do a shell, chain two, Shell. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to skip all the way over to the first chain four in the pineapple itself. Now this that's a little confusing because this was a chain four space two, but we want to go, of course, over here. One thing I encourage when you're doing pineapple lace is to lay it down and look at it regularly to make sure that it's coming together the way you think because every row is different. You wanna make sure you're not accidentally repeating what you did in another row on the wrong row. This is the voice of experience here. I've done that many a time. So now we're gonna chain four. Single crochet in the next chain four space. And we're gonna chain five to bridge back to the shell column. Do our shell. And once we get this shell done, we're gonna chain three and turn and do another shell. And then we are on the peak of our pineapple. Now we've already made all the loops to create the rows of the pineapple shape, but this last little bit, we're gonna chain six to bridge. And we're gonna do a single crochet in the top creating the point of the pineapple. And we're gonna 
chain six, bridge back over to our column of shells. Chain two. And then for this last row, we're not doing any more shells. We've completed our pineapple. But now we're gonna finish the border, which we give this nice little pointed edge. And to do that, we're gonna chain three we're going to turn and we're going to do a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the chain two space of that shell. Then we're going to chain three and we are going to do six single crochets in this chain six space. And then we're going to do a single crochet together. Demonstrate this a little better. There's a single crochet stitch here. We're going to go into the chain six space before it and pull up a loop. And then we're going to go to the chain six space after it and pull up a loop. And then we're going to pull through all three loops of our hook. And that's a single crochet together. And we're going to do six single crochet again. stitches one two three four five one more and then we're gonna do the chain three we're gonna do a single crochet oops chain three into the chain two space and then we're going to chain three and we're gonna slip stitch into the double crochet at the end and there we have a completed section of our pineapple lace. Now, if you wanted to, as I did on the border for this shawl, in fact, let's bring this end down so you can see it better. And too much shawl. There we go. You can see how the columns of shells border each of the little pineapples along the edge here. So you can make the base as long as you want. You could make the shawl a lot bigger. This uh, pattern is a shawlette, but you can make it bigger. I, when I get finished, I always like to um, block my um, pineapples to really make them open up. As you can see, the sky is pretty open. This is a nice superwash wool, so it's it'll set nicely, but if I steam block this and pin it out, it'll give me an even prettier shape. But there you go, that's the pineapple lace. Thanks for joining us here at Longmont Yarn Shop. And I'm just trying to see if there's any questions. There are no questions in the chat. Okay. 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 Well, thank you everybody for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your National Crochet Month. You can tell them this video will be loaded on our YouTube channel here in a couple of days. Oh, and you can find this video um, later on our Facebook page, of course. It's like, but it'll also be loaded up on the Longmont Yarn Shop YouTube channel in a couple of days. Thanks for joining us.